Well, here it is, the 21st of June, 2022, whatever it is. And I just wanted to show you something. <laughs> this is the river bottom. And these them shitty roads go to the river bottom. And as you can see, there ain't nobody here except in me. And the reason why I say that is because that's the way I like it. I brought my chair. I bought me a can of Chef Boyardee. I don't know, some kind of chicken stuff. Chicken Alfredo stuff. I brought, brought me a can of pop. Brought the little eggs tea. And you know what? I'm sitting on top of the world. Uh, come down here and not a care in the world. Uh, just sitting back, relaxing. Have a good time. This is, like I said, this is the 21st of June. And in 27 days, I'm going to be 70 years old. Big club. You know what? It don't matter how many years you live, it's how many, how you've lived them years. Uh, I still live the way I want to. I still do what I want. And uh, and I rode down here by myself. So why? Well, I just, uh, I don't mind being by myself. I, I don't I don't mind. Uh, and then I come out here for the peace and quiet. There's an airplane over there in the distance you can hear. Oh, there he is. Going on the top. But anyway. Uh, once he gets past, there ain't nothing out here but uh, the sound of the wind blowing through the trees and the bugs buzzing. Nature sounds. You know, and I, I guess I'm kind of a, a bad influence rider, and I'll tell you the reason why. Because I'm down here and I broke these, and I'm riding these dirty old road, these dirt roads and they were rutted and just a couple three days ago they were still muddy and stuff and uh i ain't wearing a helmet I ain't wearing a jacket i'm wearing my tinny runners and <laughs> just a t-shirt and you know there's people out there might think my god you crazy old bastard why ain't you wearing safety equipment well you know, the best piece of safety equipment you got is your own good common sense if you want to use it. If you're going to drive stuff like this, there's nothing wrong wearing safety gear. You know, I mean, I've seen I've seen some riders, they look like Master Chief. They got the helmet and they got the big shoulder pads and they've got the insulated gloves. And they've got the boots that comes all the way up to their knees and, and they've got the, the hydration packs and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, I can't ride that way. I'm sorry. I've, I've got to be unfeathered. I've got to be. I've, I've got to be free. Uh, that's the way I enjoy. It. And I'm not saying there's, there's nothing wrong with with wearing safety, but oh by no means, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm just saying. I, I just think that people sometimes get carried away. And and I, and I tell you something else about safety equipment. Well, I, I, won't, I won't say. But anyway, people. People are, are kind of sheep. Uh, they they kind of follow the trend. They kind of follow the pattern. And it's like, I, I I've seen a lot of other videos and these people, and, and, they all, and they're all dressed the same. They've all got this helmet. They've got the riding jerseys. They've got the boots. They've got the gloves. And they've got the, the hydration packs. And, and, you know, and then whenever they stop their bike and pull their helmets, they're just, they're just sweating like pigs. And, and there's, you know, it's like, there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't, when I stop, I want to relax. I don't want to have to take 10 minutes or 15 minutes to cool down. I just want to relax. I stopped out here. I unfolded my chair, got my little cooler out of the back of the, the milk crate there, and I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing. I, I make these videos because they, they kind of relax me. It gives me a chance to to say what's on my mind and, and, and share my views and, and hopefully uh, get you inspired to find your own peace of mind. Uh, like I said, by no means am I right about anything. I mean, I, this is just what suits me. Uh, if you feel safer wearing safety equipment, 
by all means do it. I, I am never ever going to say anything bad about safety equipment, okay? Uh, I worked I worked uh, in, in, a, in a factory for 19 years and about, uh, I don't know, 10 or about 10 years that, maybe 11, I was on the safety team. And there's nothing wrong with safety, but I, I would always tell them, and they would always get mad at me. I said, the best, safe, the best piece of safety equipment you got is your own good common sense. Well, that's not good enough because, you know, everybody has a, a corporate office and corporate, you know, they, they spend a lot of money on safety and they pay these people you know, sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars a year to be in, ahead of their safety department, and, and they feel like that they, you know, they want to get their money's worth. And so these people think, feel like, well, they've got to be doing things for in the, in the name of safety uh, to to justify their means. And it's like, you know what? And it just boils down to one thing: you are responsible for yourself. You are responsible for your own safety. Use your head. If you think you're going to get hurt, don't do it. If you think there's a possibility that you're going to get hurt, don't do it. You know, it's or, or, or at least at least stop and think about what you're doing and think, well, if this happens, uh, can I get out of the way? If this happens, can I get my fingers out of the way? If this happens, can I? And think about it, okay? And 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 the thing I found on the safety committee, we'd put up we'd put up alarms, we'd put up lights and all that stuff, we'd put up signs and all this kind of stuff. And after a while, after about a month or so. People got so complacent with it, they ignored them. And and that's what I'm saying. Don't get complacent with your safety. Always be aware. Don't be afraid of your bike. Don't be afraid of what you're doing, but respect what you're doing. Okay? Because uh and, and never forget and never never lose that respect. Because at any given second you can you can go down. And that's that's the chance we all take. Whether you're fully geared or you're like me and being, you know, I guess what you call bears for safety equipment goes. But it, you know, it's like you've got to be prepared for that. You've got to, you, you've got to, you got to drive ahead. You've got to look ahead. You've got to plan ahead what you're going to do. And 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 it's like I don't know how many of you have ever rode single tracks or was climbing hills, but you pick a line, okay? And that's the way it is with 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 dual sport riding. You pick a line, and you always pick a line that's that you feel the safest and most confident on, okay? And 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 you and you pick the speed that you feel the safest, most confident on. Uh, you know, use your head. There's nothing wrong with safety gear, and, and and I wish I was more safety conscious, but I'm not. And it worries my wife to death, but <laughs> I tell her I'm, I'm too damn old to change now. So, but it's like, get out. Have fun, enjoy yourself, and and just relax. You know, I mean, I I, I can't see spending. Well, you know, like you know, you could spend. Oh, well, I don't know. You could probably spend hell five hundred dollars on a helmet and six hundred dollars on boots and riding pants and and, and a jacket that costs you four or five hundred dollars and, and and a hydration pack that costs you another two or three four hundred dollars, whatever the case may be, and, and all this kind of shit. And, and like I said, if that's what makes you feel safe, by all means do it. But I can't justify that because I don't want to think uh, I have to spend this money to feel relaxed. I'm relaxed anyway. Uh, and and, and a good, the good rule of thumb is, you know, and here's, here's where the biggest part of safety comes in. The biggest rule of thumb is slow down. Don't be in a hurry. Slow down. Take your time. If you got to get out there and walk that thing through a bad spot, then get out there and first get there and walk it through. If you got to get off the bike and walk it through, then walk it through. It ain't nothing wrong with that. Use your head. Don't be in a hurry. Like I said, I'm, I'm not saying anything bad about safety. If you want to buy all the gear, by all means, absolutely. And 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 I wish you well. But uh, me, I want to feel the wind in my face. I want to feel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smell what's in the air. I'm gonna smell the wildflowers, the weeds, the, the, the I, even the pollen in the air, whatever it is, case may be. I want, I want to be part of nature when I'm, when I'm out here. Uh, I want, I want to be a part of this world and, and nature. Uh, you know, I don't want, I don't want any barrier between me and nature. And yeah, everybody says, yeah, you know, suppose you, you, you crash. Well, it's, uh, that's on me. And that, that's another thing. I am willing to take full responsibility 
for what I do. If I wreck, it's my responsibility. And, and if it's my turn to die, then, then I, lived, I, I lived my life, okay? Uh, I'm not afraid to die, but I damn sure ain't gonna be afraid to live. So, I don't, and, and you know, and it's like that old gal said, I said in an earlier video, uh, uh, I've, I've outlived a lot of people my age a uh, long time ago. Uh, you know, because uh, I've outlived them. It's just, uh, you know, that's just the way it is. You, you just got to have a good look, outlook on life, and and just get out and do it. I don't. I, I guess that's kind of a rant, but it's like you know, uh, hey, uh, I just want you, I want you to get out there and, and enjoy it because it's it's beautiful. Well, hey, ride safe, ride free, and and I guess that's enough of that.